What's up guys, Zero here, and today I figured instead of a regular video, a regular let's play, I thought I'd try my luck at doing a uh, review, so to speak. And I decided to do it on Skater XL because I've been seeing reviews on it being 9 out of 10s, 8 out of 10s, and things like that. And after playing it, I honestly don't think it deserves that 8 out of 10 and that 9 out of 10 because at best this doesn't even feel like a full fleshed out game I mean it looks nice it plays very fluid but that's about all it has going for it um I see they were trying to go for the skate feel but even skate was a fleshed out game this feels like more of an alpha so to speak um the maps are small just bare bones small the uh character creation is bare bones you've got barely any maps to go to i think at at the most if i'm not mistaken you got let me i want to say about 12 maps and that's me giving them a little lead on that one because I'm not entirely sure um, I'd have to look into that look, we'll go back into it and look but all the maps are small like smaller than the original Tony Hawk games now um As them asking for what they were asking the price they were asking for for this game I, I just can't justify it because it feels like this game is still in an alpha state now if they were to improve on it over over time then yeah I could justify them giving I mean, ask him for a $40 price tag. But what they released was a, in my opinion, a $5, maybe $10 game and asking for a $40 price tag, which I just can't justify saying it's okay to spend $40 on a game that doesn't even look finished. And the reason why there's no music is because I don't want to get any copyright strikes. So, um, so let's let's look at the character creation, and you'll see why I I feel the way I do. So as you can see, you only have four pre-made skaters and the two standard up top that's going to be your character creator you only have four skin tones I mean three different hairstyles each one of them a different hair color so I mean like I said it's it's plain it doesn't add any extra to it a few hats um there is no face changes whatsoever in the game uh, there's a large selection of shirts literally no selection in pants about the same for the shoes like I said it felt like this was just they were they rushed to get it out they rushed to get the game out and didn't think on how much they wanted to expand on this game because they it could have been great it could have been more than what it is now um it's just it to me in this day and age a lot of games are going the route of getting the game out as quickly as possible and then finishing it through patch updates which is no excuse and I, I, I wish a lot of games would stop doing that because mo it, to me right now, this feels like the year one version of No Man's Sky. 
a lot was promised not nothing was fulfilled I mean yeah we got a great looking game but that's it but and if games continue doing things like this we're in for a long haul because a lot of people will not be happy with this this way that companies are going so let's look into the maps next so as you can see there's only five official maps and three community maps that's pretty small for a skate a skating game I, I thought there was more I was wrong there's only eight and like I said before the maps are small like I don't know what they were thinking with this like yeah the maps look nice the nice color to them but if you're going on just looks alone it ain't worth it so I don't know why they decided to not spend some more time in the lab with this so to speak but it desperately needed it because like this is unacceptable in my opinion and I mean if some people are okay with this that's that's their opinion but for me I like to get as much as much content as I can out of the games that I'm playing because this doesn't even have any any activities other than just skating that's it like it doesn't even have any challenges well you do have challenges which I'm about to show you in just a second so when I said challenges I meant to say an advanced version of the tutorial basically teaching you how to do the advanced tricks there is literally no extra challenges in this game their definition of challenges is showing you how to do advanced versions of the tricks that they teach you in the tutorial so yeah so everything I've just shown you so far is essentially all that's in Skater XL I mean, do you think that this game deserves a $40 price tag? Because I don't. Um, another thing that they decided to do, there is just even within skate, the skate games, you are able to get off your board and walk around or to move to another location. You can't do that here. The only form of navigation is a something like a bookmark feature you like an area you press down d-pad and it bookmarks the area so if you fall you get warped back to that spot which I hate like that that was a horrible mechanic that they placed in here so if you like an area and you don't want to lose that area or have to navigate back to it you have to bookmark it and you can only bookmark one area at a time so if you like more than one area too bad you're gonna have to get rid of the first bookmark in order to bookmark the new area that you like I mean I really wanted this game to be more than what it is guys I really did because I was following this game when it first when it was first announced and when this when it came out I was not expecting this so I don't know if I want to give it a rating but if I had to I'd honestly have to give it something similar to like a 4 or maybe a 5 out of 10. Maybe if 
they release more content down the line I would be able to come back to this but other than that I just I don't see myself coming back to this game and for those who who've been wondering whether or not they want to get this game or not I strongly suggest you don't and just wait for the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 remaster you would get more much more enjoyment out of that than you would out of this and plus you definitely get your money's worth so that's all the time I got for today guys if you like the video or want to see more games for me to review leave a like and comment down below but until then this is zero and I'll see you guys in the next video.